What's up everybody? This is Ari at Northwest Chevy Parts. Check me out on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. Or on Facebook and Instagram as well. Today I wanted to make a small video explaining carbureted LS, specifically LS1. So as you can see, I have an Elder Brock time and control module, which is the way that this car is timed as far as without that no timing would be achievable and you would not be able to run this car with the carburetor specifically so i've checked online many times and you know i've never found any i guess information about how to tune a carburetor on the ls engine it's not too much different than a standard 350 and up as far as i'm concerned you're gonna have the same issues that you're gonna have with the normal, modern, non-fuel injected engine. But as as far as this control module, you can only time it with pills. As far as there's six different timing pills, which you can adjust to your engine's needs, if any, anything. But for me, I'm running a stock engine out of a 99 Trans Am. And I, I just want this car to run at a good, reasonable pace not too much power not too much anything not issues at all but the issues i'm having is specifically this carburetor bogs a lot at zero to 1000 to 2000 rpm so this carburetor probably isn't the best one for this engine and elder brock probably is the better but this is a holly street avenger i believe it's a 570 and it, it ran good for the longest time and it still does but it needs to be adjusted tremendously all the time as far as when the season change just a lot of things can affect this engine but i noticed as far as this engine goes it's impossible to time it to a perfect spec as far as zero to 1000 rpm it's almost impossible to get a perfect launch without having some sort of bog so i'm going over the whole thing again and I'm going to make a video part two on what to do as far as timing it with the carburetor. Because this is the only thing you can do to time the engine without this control module. As far as this does a little bit, but this is the real way to time the car. As far as your timing's off with the carburetor, the whole car is going to be off. Something I've noticed. And I can adjust the air fuel idle screws and especially the set idle screw and those are pretty much the only things that you can do which is unfortunate but what can you do you're putting a modern engine with a primitive injection system so it's to be noted something that all ls users will experience when putting a carburetor on all right i'll see you guys later